Hey, what's going on? This is JT with TasteOfWineTV.com. We are down here at the Rhythm and Vine Festival up in North County, benefiting the Boys and Girls Club of San Diego. We got over 40 wineries and breweries here. We have probably over 30 different restaurants. We got tons of people filing in here. It's going to be an unbelievable event. We're going to head inside here and check it out. I want to thank you guys for joining us. We're going to have a great time tonight. Hey guys, I'm here with Heather from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater San Diego area. Actually, she's one of our, obviously one of the sponsors. She's sitting here at the booth where you can pick up some sodas and waters and drinks and some pamphlets. I'm going to turn it over to here real quick and uh, tell you a little about the event tonight. We are actually the beneficiary of the event, Rhythm and Vine, here tonight. And um, it's our first annual uh, Rhythm and Vine. First time we're going to be doing this event for the Boys and Girls Club. And so we're really excited, all of the vendors, the wineries, and um, lots of great music and all of that. So really excited about what's happening tonight. That's great. We obviously have a good little trickle coming in here right now. It's a little early. The sun's still shining. Not too many people have their buzz and bubble going yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a great time. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and raise lots of money for the Boys and Girls Club. Absolutely. And that's obviously the main reason here, not the buzz and bubbles. Well, that's part <laughs> of it, but for the Boys and Girls Club of San Diego. So we're going to have a great time. Heather, thank you very much for everything you're doing. Thank you. And uh, thank hopefully you. we can get a lot of people to stop by your event. Great. All thank right. you. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. So I'm here at uh, Mori Cellars, which is actually an awesome wine, great wine. It's an award-winning wine. Standing next to Robert Mori right now, he's going to be serving up some people. Um, as soon as he gets done, we're going to ask him a couple questions about his wine, and not to not to look onto someone else's plate, but that looks like a really good taco. This is the 2005 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. It's 100% cab from a little vineyard off the Silverado Trail in the, the Oak Knoll District. And I made seven barrels, 175 cases of it. Okay. Definitely a Bordeaux style wine. It was 36 months in barrel, so we just released it last week. Really? Sir, would you mind taking a little quick taste of it and actually uh, facing right over there and tell us what you think about it? Very rich taste. Definitely Napa Valley. <clears throat> Well, I'm pretty sure that's a good compliment, or what do you well, think? I just opened up the bottle, so I didn't allow it to, to breathe, but definitely it'll open up. All right, fair enough, fair that's enough. my fault for <laughs> opening, but we just got swarmed, the word got around apparently about the cap, so just been... Well, that's what editing's all about, we can, <laughs> we can air it out on camera. You want to try the cap? Okay, 2005 Napa Valley cap, and uh, made 175 cases of it from a little vineyard off the Silverado Trail in Napa Valley. She's back for Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> so we actually, that was that was really great. This this great woman here just walked up, and I think she's out for thirds or fourths, maybe. Third, third. third round. Uh, she's no, going it's the first time. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's your first time, the, it's just the first a third one. time around. That's great. It's got to be a great wine, then, right? Wonderful. I, I really like it. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. <laughs> See, we're getting nothing but kudos. Every every time everybody says something, it's nothing but kudos. So Robert, tell us a little about your winery. Tell us uh, about your awards, what you're bottling right now, and what's in the future. Uh, well, very small. We usually make about 200 cases a year in Napa Valley Cab. And then the Sauvignon Blanc, which I make for other people every couple of years or so, I'll make some for ourselves. Uh, so this is really the first commercial release that we've done of Sauvignon Blanc under our own label. Um, basically, we're not starting with a big fortune, so uh, unlike many people in Napa Valley. So we just take our money and reinvest it and let it bootstrap from there. Uh, things right now obviously are a little bit tight with everybody, so we lost a couple of restaurants in Orange County where we're pretty much in a lot of places. And so now we decided to try to find two or three of the top restaurants in San Diego, and that's what we'll say. And then we always participate in events like this to kind of support the community and get the word out. So, so if someone wanted to actually check out your winery and maybe get it into, the, into their restaurants, where can they find you? Well, the best way would, to reach us would be online unless they're up in Orange County. There were okay. at several retail shops and restaurants, but here in San Diego, we're, I'd hope to already have them lined up. I'm talking with several restaurants that just haven't put them on the list yet. Right. What's, the, what's the website? Uh, MoreySellers.com. M-O-R-E-Y-C-L-L-A-R-S. -L -L All right. You got it. MoreySellers.com. Check it out. It's an award-winning wine. One of the many here. Make sure you talk to Robert when you call. Life has taught me to just try and be the best that I can be. And I, I thank the Academy for saying to me that on this given night, I was the best that I could be.